Welcome to Strong and Balance. My name is Pat Agostino. I'm a physical therapist here with PeopleFit. If you've never done this type of class before, we always ask you to consult your physician or physical therapist first. And with that, let's begin with a little bit of a warm up. Knees are soft, belly buttons in. Let's pull that head up off of your shoulders. Let's float that head right up towards the ceiling, doing some nice neck circles. Great, and let's reverse direction, please. Fantastic. And we'll do some arm circles in one direction. And let's reverse that. Fantastic. Belly button in. We're just going to march in place. Good. Feet nice and wide. Let's stick your bottom out and we're going to rotate side to side. Fantastic. Let's come on back up. And then feet just about hips width apart. We're going to come back on your heels and up onto your toes. Really try to grasp the ground with those toes. And four, three, two, and one. Let's get into one of your four balance positions. The easiest is feet together. You can try heel to the inside of your big toe, one foot in front of the other, or one foot up off the ground, wherever you're comfortable with. Knees are soft. Good. And I want you to turn your head as you bring your hands to the opposite sides. Good. Your hands are going to go one side, your head's going to go to the other. Good. I think that's the thrill of dance. I don't know. Good. Head goes one hand, hands go to one side, head goes to the other. Let's see if you can balance. Good. Let's switch feet. And again, we're going to switch one side to the other. Head looks like left, arms go right. Well, my level of coordination for dancing. Good. And side to side. Three, two, and one. Excellent. All right. Let's bring your feet together. Slide your uh, left foot back. Right arm out to the side. And let's kick that leg out to the side. Left leg out. Maybe you can try not bringing that foot back down to the ground. In five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's switch to the other side. Slide that foot back, bend that front knee, and let's kick that right leg out and down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's shake out both legs. And let's step right onto the left foot. 
tap your right toe behind you if you need to hold on for something, that's fine. Your pitch slightly forward, but your head is pulled right up off your shoulders. So let's pick up and down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's switch to the other side, lean forward, and kick on up and down. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great, we're gonna to go to a weight. If you have a nice light weight that you can work with, we're gonna start off with some bent over rows. And we're gonna start in standing, toes slightly out, and you're gonna continue with your heel and toe raises. If you're concerned about your balance without having your hands in front of you, you can skip the weight. And five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Let's put a weight in one hand. Let's step forward. We're going to lean forward. And you're gonna row pulling up towards your hips with your hands, keeping your shoulders down and away from you. Good, and keep on going. In five, four, three, two, and one. Let's turn and switch to the other side, or just switch to the other side. And we're gonna come on up and down. And really try to focus on posture. Head is pulled right up off your shoulders for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Let's put your weight right into your right hand. Let's get into one of your balance positions. Elbow's gonna be inside our body for this one. And we're just gonna do a little bicep curl, curling up and down. You wanna to try to lift that front foot up off the ground. And it doesn't matter if it sways from side to side to help you catch your balance. Whatever you're comfortable in terms of this balance position for two and one. Let's switch feet and switch arms. And we're gonna curl on up and down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's switch feet and switch hands. This time we're gonna bring our thumb up with the weight. And if it bothers your shoulders, if you have shoulder issues, just do it with, with your hand. Otherwise, we're gonna come up and back down. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Let's switch feet and switch hands. Coming up to the side. Good. In five, four, three, two, and one, great. Grab the weight this way. Belt, knees are really soft this time. Stick your bottom out, belly button in, and let's push and return. If you have back issues, just be careful with this one. Maybe not extend the arms all the way out, but I want your head and chest up the whole time. Good. This is your warm up for giving out candy today. Reach and draw. Reach and draw for five. 
four, three, two, and one. Put the weight right down in front of you. Good. And you're just gonna do a little bit of swaying back and forth. Your feet are hips width apart. Remember, no hip movement in this at all. If you're just a big, stiff oak tree. That's dropping all their acorns on me. Not like last year, but at least, but they are still dropping. Good. Reach out with that right hand. And left toe, you're just gonna barely touch the weight. We'll call this the spider stomp for today. Gently touch and return. Maybe try the other side of the weight, both sides and return. Good. One side, the other. And down. Let's do it three more times. Good. Two. And one. Great. Let's reach over to the other side. We do the same exact thing. Tap and return. Tap and return. Listen to that foot and where the weight is. Maybe try tapping one foot, the other, and back. One side of the weight, the other side, and back down. Good. In four. Three, two, and one. All right, let's turn to the side or you can turn your weight, whatever you're comfortable with. And again, in front of a countertop is a great suggestion for this exercise where we're gonna lean over to the side and I want you to really tap over and return. So you're reaching up and over, making sure not to catch your toe on the way back. If this is super easy, let's tap over the weight touch your heel to the inside of your calf. Step over the weight and touch. Good, I'm really trying to lean over onto this right side. Good. So five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go right on to the other side of the weight, please. Reach over. Remember, keep this uh, left leg bent. Make it easy for you to tap, to, for you to reach over and come on back. Or tap over the weight, touch your calf. Reach over, touch. Good. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's get rid of that weight. All right, let's stretch out those hip flexors, flexors and calves. Nice long step forward with one foot. Remember, keep the back heel down, foot nice and straight. And you're gonna bend that front knee with your belly button in. So hopefully you feel a little stretch maybe in the front of your hip or in the back of the calf. And we're gonna hold it there. In 10 more seconds, please. And let's switch to the other side, please. And let's hold it there.
And 10 more seconds here. Excellent. All right, we're going to do the grapevine to the monster mash. So we need about three or four feet of space. And that's all you're going to do is we're going to take this outside foot and we're going to step over the front and we're going to pause. And then you're going to step. And then we're going to step behind and step. And over the top and step and behind. And step. If you feel like you're bouncing that great, just try going maybe heel to the inside of your uh, big foot for this one. Okay. Let's go back the opposite direction. Over the top. In step. Behind. In step. Over the top. Step. Behind and step. If you'd like to try some head turns with this, every time you step over the top, we're going to uh, look left and right. And every time you step behind, you're going to look up and down. Okay. That's a lot of information. So step over the top, look left and right, and step. Step behind, look up and down. Step. Step over the top, look left and right, and step. Step behind, look up and down, and step. Let's go back the other way. Over the top, look left and right, and step behind. Up and down and step over the top, look left and right and step behind, up and down and step. All right, let's stretch out your hamstrings and hip flexors. To do that, if you have osteoporosis or lower back issues, you're just going to lean forward with a nice straight um, leg and a little arch in your back. If you don't have either of those issues, you can forward fold, allowing the back to stretch, and you're going to hang on down. And nice, easy breaths with this. If you're stretching one leg, I ask you to stretch the other, please. And we're all going to take five more nice deep breaths. One deep breath, bend your knees, come back up into a standing position. And I want you guys to march and breathe. Come on, breathe, breathe, breathe. Fantastic. So we're gonna, if you have a glass of water, please grab a quick glass. Otherwise we're gonna either get down on the floor or into bed. If you're gonna be using your mini resistance band, um, you can grab it at this point. And we'll see you on the floor in 30 seconds. All right, so if you have lower back issues, we're gonna go on to your back with your knees bent and we're gonna do a few pelvic tilts. For everyone else, we're gonna start on your stomach and we're gonna to try to do some planks this morning. So again, on your back, knees bent, push your lower back flat into the floor. 
hold for five seconds and then return. If not, you can come right down onto your stomach, elbows underneath your shoulders, belly button in, and then you're gonna lift up to either your uh, toes or your knees, whatever is easier for you. And let's hold it there for 30 seconds. And keep on holding. Remember, if you're doing your pelvic tilts, it's lower back press for one, two, three, four, five, and relax. Again, one, two, three, four, five, and relax. One more. And if you're doing your plank, you can come on down right onto your back, please. Okay, we're gonna go arms out to the side and stretch your lower back a little bit. Let's slide those feet right up next to each other, knees together, they're gonna to stay together. And we're gonna do a little bit of a twist side to side, allowing the lower back to gently come off the floor to get a stretch on that side of the back that's coming up off the floor. If this bothers your knees, just clamp your feet all the way together and make sure that the trailing foot is coming right up off the ground. And four, three, two, and one. Let's straighten out the right leg. Let's bring the left knee up towards your chest. You can do that by grabbing on behind or in front, whatever you're comfortable with. And we're just going to hold that stretch. Okay, and let's switch to the other side, please. Bring the other leg down. And let's hold it there. Excellent. All right. So we're going to come onto your side. If you're using a resistance band today, the resistance band is going to come over the top of your knees. And we're going to start off in a sideline position. And we're going to go hand on your hip. Your hip is going to roll slightly forward. You're going to hold your hand there as you open and close your clamshell. So the knee is opening and closing. Feet are staying together. Good, and let's do 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, let's push your hip down away from you. And we're going to do a fire hydrant, just raising the leg up and lowering it. Raising and lowering, keeping your knee bent. Good. We're going to do eight more. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Nice job. Let's roll your hips slightly backward. Keep your knees together, but open your foot and close your foot. So lift your foot up off of uh, the foot that's on the floor and back down. Good. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Great. Let's straighten your legs out in line with your body. Let's roll your front hip forward, your top hip forward just a little bit. Let's take your top leg back so your toe is touching your heel. And let's come up and down. If you do all that right, hopefully you're feeling this kind of on your backside. For 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. 
Let's roll over onto the other side, please. So we're going to come right on to, into a sideline position. Knees are bent. Hand is on your hip. We're going to roll your hip slightly forward. And we're going to do our clamshells, opening and closing the knee. Open and close. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Let's push that hip away from you. And we're going to do your fire hydrants, raising and lowering. Good. Raise and lower. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hold the hips slightly back. And let's open and close the foot. Just rolling that thigh inward. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Straighten out those legs in line with your body. Roll your hips slightly forward. Extend your top leg back, toe to heel, and let's come on up and down. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Good. Let's come right onto your back, please. We're going to take your knees bent, left ankle over your right knee, and with your right hand, we're going to pull your knee across your body to hopefully get a stretch of these glute muscles down here. Okay, and let's switch to the other side, please. And pull that knee across your body. Great. And then soles of your feet together. Let the knees drop down to the side. And if you don't get much of a stretch, you can use the inside of your hands to push your thighs down towards the floor. 